good day to hide in the garage. Well, hello and welcome again to River Valley Farm. Um, I'm still flushing on this radiator. So I'm going to uh, try something a little different today. Toilet bowl cleaner. Um, I'm going to try this because I cannot find liquid dish soap, dishwasher soap. So, uh, I don't really know why I can't find it, but I can't. So anyway, now of course I haven't been to any big stores. I just went past the ones that I go by on my way home from work. And, uh, none of the three of them had any. So there you go. Um, a dollar store, a little country store, two little country stores and a dollar store. And nothing, nobody had anything. So we're going to try this and see what it'll do for us probably nothing but maybe something we'll see and then when you're trying to use toilet bowl cleaner when you try and use toilet bowl cleaner first time in my life I've ever seen this happen well, you lose the little cap thing off of it down in the radiator. So, bear with me while I try and fish this out. Okay, so uh, radiator flush with toilet bowl cleaner coming up. Maybe. fogging the place out anymore although we shouldn't have any more mosquitoes right bud okay meanwhile i gotta pull this here thing out again and then we'll see what happens what? see what it looks like now this thing down here okay. yeah this the container? no not the container get back this might get hot get back Well, that's a whole lot cleaner than it was yesterday. That's good. We like it that way. 
That's the radiator I'm draining. That's a whole lot cleaner than it was yesterday. Field, yeah. Heck yeah, that's good. We like that. Well, if I can show you all. If I can get this light in a position, and you guys in a position, it's not going to be quite possible. But anyway, I know what I'll do. I'll take a picture with my phone. See what that does for us. Okay, so next question. Did I do any good or did I waste my time? Well, that one was apparently a waste of time. How about this one over here? Hey, look there. Look there. Out it comes. All right then. That's encouraging. So definitely one less. I don't know if I like the looks of them threads or not, but anyway. I'm probably gonna run out of nuts before I get this done, but oh well. Now I need to clean that one up a little bit, see what goes on there. Um, see if I can get another weld on another nut welded on it. I have this bigger nut, but before I do that, I need to clean that up. Okay, so this one, that one right there, anyway, is, uh, that's two nuts I've welded on it, and it does not want to come out, so 
we move on to this other one over here I guess or that one over there but I think probably this one and that one the one that I've already got out um, will be the easier of the two uh, these fenders mount with four bolts and of course all four of them have to be broken off on this one but anyway this one is still solid still got mud on top of the bolts so I can't even see if they're all in there or not feels like they're all there yeah they're all four there on this side but anyway today may have been a complete waste because I'm out of gas I've got one bolt out I do think we've got the radiator cleaned out though that'll be majorly helpful for uh, tomorrow when I have more gas because I'm just gonna go ahead and fill it up with water and let it run for a while drain it again with no soap or cleaner or anything like that and see what we get out of it hopefully it's just clear water by that point in time okay I gotta find another nut and uh, let's see if I can get one more out okay so that's three if I can scrape up one more nut I'm gonna try this one one more time just for good measure and see what happens with it um, like I say scrape up one more nut I'm running out of nuts there's a big greasy smear on that thing or something okay that's better so anyway one more try on this one if I don't have another nut then I guess we'll have to wait on it until tomorrow okay so that's the last nut I've got I literally took this one from a uh, bolt in the scrap bin so let's see what we got here <clears throat> well it acts like it wants to go but acting like and doing are two totally different things right nope it didn't okay well I get a few more nuts tomorrow and then uh, we'll go from there so anyway let's see I need gas and nuts um, I got yeah it's not too hot anymore three of them out and that and that this bolt I don't know if I'm going to get it out anyway because it may be made up of something not easily extracted. Um, these are original bolts. That one was awfully clean. So it may not come out. I don't know. It could have been galvanized or who knows what. I haven't seen it smoke or anything when I've tried to weld on it. but. It may have some kind of coating on it that won't stick or be made of something that is hard to do. It might be a stainless bolt for all I know, in which case I'd have to have a special rod and all that other good stuff and then have to get stainless nuts, which are ridiculously expensive. And, you know, anyway, oh, that one's still pretty hot. I wonder where the other bolt went because I pulled three of them out. But anyway, so yeah, I guess that's all for now thanks for watching i'll be back later um i gotta remember to get wire too i need to get wire so i can wire the alternator and all that good stuff so we can make sure it works and charges the battery like it should and then um i'm not too worried about the starter bendix at this junction but anyway that's another one of the things that's on the list but to get it in good enough shape to take it out and bush hog my little field over here I shouldn't have to go to all that trouble anyway we're going to call that good for today thanks for watching I'll be back and 
We'll just keep chewing. Eventually, we'll get closer and closer every day.